Hello everyone, back in another video. And today doing something a little bit different. Been inspired by some of James R. Burns' videos lately. Uh, I'll pop a link to his channel down below, go and take a look. But he's doing a sort of bit of an urban sort of set. A lot of sort of black and whites and stuff like that. I thought it'd be ideal, because in Nottingham, which is known as the city of caves, there's also a massive heritage from lace making. And there's a section of the city called the Lace Market. I thought it'd be ideal, get down there, nice and early, and so we're in sort of just past sunset, sorry, sunrise, um, get some shots around sort of the area, a lot of the historical buildings, and see what sort of find out. So come and have a wander and we'll see what sort of shots are around there. There's some very noisy crows going on, but one of the big shames that we've got is a lot of sort of roadworks on this corner piece where we are. Um, but it's going to be a case of picking out different shapes they've got some great historic old buildings, some lovely sort of patterns in them. And I don't think we're going to get much light through because it is actually quite packed in. But there's a few sections around we're going to try and get some different sort of types of shots. I feel a lot of black and white today. I think gonna, most of it's going to be all black and white. And hopefully we'll get some lovely shapes, some nice old buildings, some old period features. I don't know where you can make out until we have got the old sort of lamps and stuff like that. If we can get some nice uh, shapes and sort of nice urban compositions I'll be quite happy uh, but yeah let's have a bit of a wander around I think today's gonna be mostly a few bits of b-roll um, lots of sort of wandering around um, I'll chat to you a couple of times when sort of there's a few bits and pieces of any interest uh, but yeah the bulk of the images will be right at the end of the video I think lay them all out for you and sort of do it that way I think it's just gonna be a little bit easier but yeah carry on wandering into it now and uh, see what sort of things we can find So although it's not massively cold at the minute, there's a good breeze runs down here and it does sort of quite bite on the old fingers. Uh, but one of the features that you do find along this section of the lace market is all of the, uh, the buildings are actually curved. There's no actual sort of sharp edges on any of the corners. Um, really unusual to see, but it's quite nice to actually sort of pick some shapes out because you've got all that bit. I mean, most of the stuff I've done so far has all been in portrait orientation as well. Just getting sort of the height of the buildings and stuff like that. Um, looks really quite nice. Um, go try pick out a couple of bits. Unfortunately, there's a few bits of signage that kind of ruin the effect a bit. But I'm gonna try a couple of bits and bobs, see if I can get any uh, sort of low down, sort of really sort of get the shapes in as well. So, yeah, just basically play with it. Um, but yeah, keep on wandering around because it's only a small area of the city, but there's quite a lot here as well. So yeah, so have a wander around and start sort of picking off some shots, I think. So it's a bit different to some of the areas that you find. Like I say, it's all sort of very compacted down, but the shapes and stuff like that, they're all sort of leading sort of great sort of tall buildings and stuff like that so it's working quite nicely for sort of a lot of portrait shots a um, couple of bits up here there's a couple of references to the old sort of lace market sort of and sort of lace making that used to go on because pretty much all these old buildings they're all sort of old factories and stuff like that so it, they've been sort of repurposed and stuff like that i mean most of this now is sort of nottingham city college and stuff like that so uh, but some nice sort of leading lines through some of it and it's the sort of place that we really need to get here really because it does busy up through the day and tram just going by um, because of all the, the heritage and stuff like that there's a couple of little sort of features but I can't really make anything out of it I, mean, I don't know if you can make it out up there uh, there's lots of lace trees and stuff like that um, sort of made out of steel uh, but some of the, even just picking out small features and there's sort of little bits of the brickwork over here Beautiful little features that you can just pick out and make some really nice shots of. Um, looks like almost all of it today I think is going to be black and white. It's just got that feel to it. Um, the sun was out when we first arrived, but it seems to have decided it's had enough now, so it's a bit of a shame because I'm going to get a few shadows in as well. Uh, but yeah, lots of hard contrast, a lot of playing with. But yeah, get a few more shots and carry on wandering.
So that's been quite an enjoyable morning out. Um, like I said, normally don't come down into Nottingham City Centre at all very much. Um, it's mainly all bars and shops, uh, which really isn't sort of much for the photography side. But we had a look. Looks like James R. Burns' channel. Uh, Look at pop a link to him down below. Um, and he started doing a bit of an urban project. And he's based it in Halifax. So he's got these lovely old mills and stuff like that. And just got thinking, like, well, I wonder if the lace market buildings will actually be uh, any good for it. But I think, yeah, I think they've actually come out quite nice. There's some lovely shapes and patterns and stuff like that. And look at all the history in there as well. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. So, look, I've put some shots up now for you. A look. Um, Essentially, everything is just handheld, F8, um, using aperture priority, so it's whatever the camera's decided for the uh, the settings. But for the most part, I think the most of about ISO 800 because it's fairly bright morning, it's not too bad. Uh, but where we are, the sun's really not sort of doing much for the shadows and stuff like that. But yeah, it's quite nice. And looks like the sort of thing that if you've got something like this that you can sort of wander down, grab your camera, go and have a wander around. Looks like I've got the 12 100 on today, so. Yeah, it's been an ideal sort of lens for it. It's not the most discreet, but it works fairly well. We've seen a few other photographers around as well, which uh, quite surprised us actually. We weren't expecting to see anybody at all, but yeah, it's quite nice. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, looks like if you've liked it, please do give us a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, Going to be doing sort of more bits and bobs through the sort of the next couple of months. Uh, a few sort of trips to the Lake Districts as well coming up. Uh, so there'll be a bit more of that side of things. Uh, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Out of reach, down below, waiting for time to reveal a hundred new colors in me. Even if it takes a hundred thousand years to finally shine, unlike any other, something new. Discovered, left to crystallize. Give it time, put it under pressure, hold it to the fire. A diamond in disguise, meant to shine.